For many in middle America, the president's speech was more popular than the man who delivered it. I thought it was a very good, sincere speech, and he had some, uh, you know, points that should be discussed about the very serious problems on the, uh, you know, the human trafficking and drugs that are coming in that should be addressed. In the most divided Congress in recent history, one that could lurch from one government shutdown to the next within days, the president urged unity. Together we can break decades of political stalemate. But on Capitol Hill, for much of the speech, while Republicans celebrated, <laughs> Democrats sat on their hands. Yet somehow, across the U.S., in the Midwest, where President Trump won many of his votes in 2016, and here in the shadow of Chicago's Trump Tower, it resonated. In poll after poll, about three-quarters of Americans say they viewed the address positively. I thought he put across a good, positive message, and uh, I think that he's really interested in working with, you know, both sides to make sure that they're working for us and not just for their own party. It's a striking contrast. Despite that reception, President Trump is the only American president in recent history whose popularity has never reached 50 percent, with a majority of Americans disapproving of his job performance. So you're not a fan? Not Donald Trump fan? Oh, no. I wish we had a new president already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone that actually is for the people. I'm at the Billy Goat Tavern. It's a Chicago institution. And you might be surprised how many people we talked to in this overwhelmingly Democratic city who gave the president's speech a thumbs up. I think the speech was excellent. It, it dealt with all of the issues concerning African Americans when it was dealing with the immigration and with the mass incarceration. I was uh, proud to be American. And the fact of the matter is, I think that a lot of people just need to rally and stop uh, down him about how he's running the country because he's doing a great job. That's not the view of everyone here, but the annual ritual of the State of the Union left a number of Americans feeling slightly more optimistic. The question is just how long that feeling will last. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.